thing if it is going to rain and get cold, if you got a road hog, you know, big old <laughs> RV sitting there, just go inside and stay warm before the game, right? Exactly. And those road hogs have the setup, let me tell you. So this week I went searching for someone who remembered the 1964 year. I found someone who not only remembers it, but he was actually at almost every single game. Bob Russell has been a staple at Razorback Games for more than 50 years, and he's about as die hard as they come. There's several of us that go to every ball game, in state, out of state, and all. And of course, we really have a good time when we go on the road. Russell's mobile home isn't flooded with red and white and Razorback like many of the Road Hogs, but in no way does that mean he isn't just as fanatic of a fan. Just don't put as much in as a lot of people do. Uh, it hasn't got anything to do with our love or whatever of the Razorbacks because we do love the Razorbacks. And like I said, we're one of the few that go to every ball game, but uh, we just don't clutter ours up as much as some of them do. <laughs> to each his own. Russell's been a road hog for nearly 12 years, but a Razorback fan since he went to the U of A back in the 60s. And he's especially excited about today's game for old time's sake. We went to, uh, you know, all the ball games back in 64, and uh, that was quite a group of uh, fine young men. Of course, football today is totally different than what it was back then, but they had a great team. Didn't lose a ball game, uh, beat Texas, which was uh, at that time the big game each year, and uh, it's quite uh, nice that they can honor them this year because, uh, you know, time is, is passing by, so uh, it's, it's nice that they can be here one more time for a uh, anniversary of the game. For the Hog Wild pregame show, I'm AJ McCord. Bob said he's so excited to get to see that 64 team all back together again because they're not getting any younger and hopefully some of that championship mojo is going to rub off on the current Hogs and they'll be able to pull off some magic tonight and stick it to Bama.